and welcome to a new Green Staff World video. Today, we're going to paint this mini created with resin bits from Daka Daka and perfect to be used in any army you want to build. Let's start by applying a coat of glossy primer, which will highlight the chrome paint that will be applied later. Remember to let the primer dry properly. The special chrome airbrush paint does not need to be thinned, but it is advisable to stir it well before it's used. Apply a thin layer on the figure. Let it dry completely and then apply a layer of transparent ink intensity sanguine red, also with an airbrush. It is important to apply this layer thinly and not to let the ink accumulate in areas of the miniature. As a result, we have a very striking metallic red, which we will now enrich by adding touches of steel stimulating wear and tear, applying it with a dry brush in some area. To widen the chromatic range, we use metallic touches in some areas of the armor, such as shoulder pads, knee pads, axe. Carefully, we paint the bones that make up the chest armor, skulls and horns of the helmet, in addition to the tabard and some other details. As the figure dries, we apply a coat of Max Darth to the base that we will use for the figure. Apply the paint with the brush directly from the can with no thinner. Once dry, we use our white ink to mark the areas of light reflection. On top of the white ink, we will apply a layer of our green floor paint. With a bit of acrylic paint and fine strokes, we highlight reflections on some parts of the rock. Then, we glue our resin crystals on the colored area. The last step is to highlight the reflection on the armor of our figure and it will be ready. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like and stay tuned for the next Green Stuff World video. See you soon!